back to our channel friends in this video i am about to discuss the recent happenings in and around kutch bard sanctuary and where great indian bastard is facing to some extent the threat of extinction now iucn has categorized this bird into critically endangered the kutch area i'm about talking about this place in recent past that's been last two decades kutch is facing the growth of various power generating activities like windmills transmission cables and all other things as it is nearby the sea area so we can understand but the kutch bird sanctuary is about a 2 square kilometer area and it is an eco sensitive zone which spread across 220 kilo square kilometer area but thing is that these great indian birds while flying coming and up and down they face power transmission cables and in an average accident every year 18 to 20 birds die because their frontal vision is not that strong and they are th so heavy that they cannot change their flight path just for an instant mr rajnish jhala an retired is officer has submitted a petition to supreme court and supreme court ordered that the power transmission cables be taken to underground so that birds can be saved however still now nothing has happened on the ground in a recent question to rajya sabha government has replied that there is no bird present in the kutch bird sanctuary that's when we are talking about the great indian bastard this is a very matter of concern that's why it is in the news now why gib under threat just because of anthropogenic reasons power generation transmission cables and changes in agricultural practices led to the decline of number of great indian bustards now there are four species of great indian bustards occur in india one is gib which among the four is uh, greatest next is macqueen bird that's been macqueen's bustard laser florican and the bengal florican there are four species in last february that's been 2020 center that been central government of india told to the conference of parties of the un that the migratory species of wild animals india's number of great indian bustard fallen to 150 that is really a matter of concern Rajasthan government's forest department and WII that's been wildlife institution of india has taken steps to harvest eggs that's mean they collect eggs from the wild and then they hatch them in a uh, controlled environment so that if anything occurs in the wild the bird species can be saved now we come to the expected question part in the upsc so expect expected questions could be if we go and see the map around this place there is another bird sanctuary gir forest national park and nal sarovar bird sanctuary state of gujarat india this place i am talking about so you can expect a question that uh, which state has the largest or uh, second largest coastline in india you can expect the questions like um, which state has largest Uh, wind power generation Another question uh, we can expect that uh, kind of habitat for example uh, if you see habitat kind of habitat they are uh, living in that's mean whether it's a grassland whether it's a jungle whether it's desert whether it's uh, salted area like that a marshy land like that and there could be a, a climate related question around gujarat and uh rajasthan what kind of climate is present there what kind of soil is present in and around that place okay then agricultural produce if there is any uh, striking features any agricultural product is available there what are the natural prey of these birds that mean that's mean what they eat and then uh, animals around this kbs kbs means uh kutch bird sanctuary that's mean 
only those, those birds are living in this region or some other animals are also available in this region any wild ass or something like that so i think those are will be the questions that may be asked in upsc from this section if you have any more suggestions about the questions about any other things you can write it in the comment section and we will come back to another video thank you for watching have a nice day